Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see how we test the geometric series. Remember, the general form of the geometric series is the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of some constant a times r raised to the n minus 1. For example, a plus a times r plus a times r squared plus a times r cubed and so forth. So you can see the trend. And we know that that is equal to a divided by 1 minus r where a is a constant and r is the ratio of two consecutive terms. For example, the n plus 1 term divided by the n term, so we have a times r to the n plus 1 divided by a times r to the n. The ratio of that will be r, that's the common ratio. So how do we know if it converges and what is the sum if it does? We know that the geometric series converges if r is less than 1, or the absolute value of r. So we know the test is going to be, is r less than 1, or let's take the absolute value of that, question mark. So that's the first thing. Now in our example here, when we look at it, that's not apparent. However, notice that in the numerator here, we have 3 to the first power, 3 to the second, 3 to the third, 3 to the fourth. In the denominator, we have 4 to the first power, 4 to the second, so we're off by a, an exponent there. If I factor out a 4 out of every term, let's see what happens. So we have 4 times. This gives us 1 plus 3 over 4 plus 9 over 16 plus 27 over 64 plus 81 over 256 plus and so forth. So now we realize, and of course i got to put a bracket there, now we realize that we have 3 to the 1st, 4 to the 1st, uh, 3 to the 2nd, 4 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd, 4 to the 3rd, which means we can now rewrite this series as follows. This can now be written as 4 times 1 plus 3 over 4 to the 1st power plus 3 over 4 to the 2nd power plus 3 over 4 to the 3rd power plus 3 over 4 to the fourth power plus and so forth. And now it's beginning to look like a geometric series. Notice that the first term here typically is the a, and you see that that will be the same for every term. We have a constant 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 and so forth. The ratio is 3 quarters. Now we can check that by taking, let's say, two consecutive terms. Let's take these two terms right here and see if the ratio does indeed equal 3 over 4. So here let's divide the n plus 1 term, 27 divided by 16. Let's divide it by the previous term, 9 over 4, to see what the ratio is. And of course, when we divide a fraction by a fraction, that is equal to the fraction multiplied by the inverse of the denominator, which is 4 over 9. Let's see here, we have 4 and 16. We can divide both by 4, that gives us 1 over 4. And 9 and 27, 9 goes in 27 three times, that gives us 1 and 3. So sure enough, that ratio is indeed 3 quarters, which means that we verified that this indeed is our ratio. This is a number we factored out. Our constant is A, so we can see that since our ratio R is less than 1, Therefore, we know that the series converges. Next, we want to find the sum. And we know that the sum is going to be equal to a divided by 1 minus r. So therefore, the sum is equal to, now that of course would be the sum for this portion. We know that everything must be multiplied times 4, so we get 4 times a over 1 minus r. So this is 4 times 1 divided by 1 minus the ratio is 3 quarters. So 1 minus 3 quarters, that would be 1 quarter, so this becomes 4 times 1 divided by 1 quarter, and of course divided by 1 quarter is the same as multiplying times 4, this is 4 times 4, which is 16. So we've determined that the series does indeed, indeed converge, and that the sum is equal to 16. And that's how it's done.